The construction season has arrived. Coming up, what you'll need to know. Al-Qaeda's top man is in U.S. custody. What's next in the war on terror? In just 60 seconds on the 10 o'clock news. Looking for quality, award-winning television? It's yours with Time Warner Cable. Cable continues to create more innovative and entertaining shows, winning 10 of 11 television awards at the Golden Globes. If you don't have Time Warner Cable, now is the time to get the very best in television with more than 200 channels of great entertainment. Call now and get digital cable plus six channels of HBO at 25% off for four months. Call Time Warner Cable today, 1-800-756-7956. Fox Rochester is celebrating our region and those who walk to help others. Lace up your sneakers and help make a difference in the lives of 6,400 individuals living with multiple sclerosis in upstate New York. Join the 2003 Time Warner Cable MS Walk on Sunday, April 6th, and help move the upstate New York chapter of the National MS Society another step closer to a cure for MS. For more information or to register, call 1-800-FIGHT-MS or visit www.msupstateny.org. Fox Rochester, celebrating our region. Now, live from Fox Rochester, the 10 o'clock news. Another wintry mix hits the area. A drop in temperature is causing several slick ice-covered roads, which has led to dozens of accidents. City and state police are warning all drivers to take extra precaution if you're heading out this evening. Good evening, I'm Tim Cassidy. Melanie has the night off. We'll have more on the icy conditions later in the show, but first, the winter weather won't be the only traffic delay you might have to deal with in the morning. The first full week of March will bring the first week of construction season, and that could mean headaches for your morning commute. Drivers on the west side of the city will notice the changes here at the Ames Street Bridge over Route 490. The Department of Transportation plans to remove the bridge and replace it. It's expected to take months. Those who use the bridge on a daily basis say it's going to be a hassle. <laughs> That's straight messed up, man. Everybody go across that bridge, man. I mean, you see how the, you see how everybody come off the expressway and they go straight across that bridge. You know, it's real important. Motorists can expect lane closures for both east and westbound lanes of Route 490 starting tomorrow. Electronic message boards will direct you to alternate routes. Our Rochester man is recovering tonight after being rescued from his burning bed early this morning. Firefighters arrived to this house on Gibbs Street to find 50-year-old Jeremy Collar unresponsive and his apartment on fire. Crews were able to contain the blaze and revive Collar at the scene. Fire crews report the fire was started by Collar, who was smoking in his bed. Jury selection is expected to start tomorrow in the trial of James Kopp. Kopp is charged with the 1998 murder of abortion provider Dr. Barnett Slepian. Kopp fled to Europe for two and a half years before being brought back to the States to answer to the charges. The anti-abortion activist admitted to firing shots into Slepian's kitchen window, but says he didn't mean to kill him. The trial is expected to start in two weeks. The state prison chaplain accused of illegally sending money to Iraq has been suspended from his job. O o Osama al-Wahidi returned to work at the Auburn prison this morning and was immediately suspended without pay. Last week, federal prosecutors charged al-Wahidi and three other men with sending money to Iraq through a Syracuse area charity. All four men are expected back in court tomorrow. Testimony is also expected to continue tomorrow in the Eric Parsons trial. He's accused of setting a Romulus home on fire, killing his wife Cheryl and their four kids. Testimony isn't expected to wrap up for a couple of weeks. And no jurors have been picked yet in the James Comfort trial. Defense and prosecutors, the prosecuting lawyers have been interviewing potential jurors for a week. The grease man is accused of raping and sexually assaulting several women he met online. Jury selection is expected to continue tomorrow. More than six decades after millions of Jews were murdered by Nazis, a local couple reveals their heroic story of escape. Reporter Stephanie Simo spoke with them today and joins us now with their story. Well, Tim, it's impossible to imagine what people of Jewish faith were living through during the Holocaust. Just this week, Survival in the Shadows was released, a story about Rochester's Ellen and Eric Arndt, along with their families, who spent more than two and a half years in hiding, just miles from where Hitler slept. When Eric Arndt and his wife Ellen arrived in New York in 1945, Eric was just a mere 100 pounds. Ellen, pregnant. The couple spoke no English and had only $11 to their name. We figured if we, if we got through the 
last two and a half years, we will probably get to everything. Learning to speak English, buying a home, and raising a family on a minimal income was a walk in the park for the couple compared to the years they spent hiding in Germany from the Nazis. But not the kind of hiding you'd expect. It was more of a meshing into Berlin society with the constant fear of being caught. We went to the SS Christmas party because I said to my mother, you know, that is safe. Nobody will look for two Jews at the SS Christmas party. The Yarns say they don't watch movies about the Holocaust. It's too painful. And it took them almost 40 years before they would even talk about their experience in Germany. In our uh, mind, the heroes are the ones who helped us. That's why Survival in the Shadows was written. The Yarns wanted people to know there was a glimpse of goodness through the madness. Outside of Nazis, there were normal, good people there who, who could not just stand by and, and idle and, and uh, said, oh, how was you, you know. No, they helped, they were helpers. It's a, a varied group of people and each did whatever they could. Some would give us a few uh, ration stamps ever so often. Some would let us stay with them. Either for long or for short, whatever worked out. Now the aren't say there were about 60 Germans who helped them hide out. The national launching of the book is tomorrow at Nazareth College. You can meet Ellen and Eric and the author who wrote this true story beginning at 7.30 in the Schultz Center Forum. Now the book was released on Thursday and it is available in bookstores. Tim? All right, thanks, Stephanie. Harley riders can't head out on their bikes this time of year, but the Avon Hogs are still making some noise. The Hogs held a rock and roll jamboree this afternoon, all for the cure, the Childhood Cancer Association. The Harley riders brought together bands and food, raising money for families living with childhood cancer. Myself and my group here just love to do this, and these bands that are playing in these jamborees are so enthusiastic, and they just love to help charity out. There's just so many wonderful people, even the people in here that are coming through the door here are just wonderful with uh, their donating and, and uh, very generous people here in the community. The Avon Hogs take part in several fundraising events throughout the year. Local high school students are getting a chance to show off their art talents. Today was the opening of Portfolio 17, an art exhibit for AP art students from Webster Schroeder High School. The exhibit is located at Earth Tones Coffee House on Bay Road in Webster. The program gives the community a chance to see the work coming out of their local high schools. I think it's really good for the community for people to be able to come in and see the work that's done in high school because otherwise they never see it. And I think it's really important for people in the community to come in and look at what's getting done in their local high school. The exhibit, the exhibit runs at Earth Tones through the month of March. It's being called the biggest arrest in the war on terror. Coming up, when we come back, we'll take a closer look into what comes next. The 10 o'clock news brought to you by your local Dodge dealers. Get the best values in America from Dodge. Take our best products like the 250 horsepower Dodge Intrepid SXT, the restyled Stratus SXT, and the sporty Neon SXT. Plus our best warranty, Dodge's fully transferable 770 powertrain limited warranty. Plus our best deals like up to a $3,000 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months on Intrepid. Add it all up, it equals the best values in America. See your Dodge dealer or visit Dodge.com. Oh, no. Lisa's mistaken for dead. Our working theory is that the lightning exploded her. Yeah. And it's the Simpsons' ticket to ride. I baked you a little something to ease the pain. Oh, must hide Lisa. Come The Simpsons. Monday at 7 on Fox Rochester. Followed by <laughs> Jerry's helping the elderly. Oh, wouldn't you mind changing my diaper? <laughs> on the next Seinfeld. Monday starting at 7 on Fox Rochester. Do cable TV prices make you cry? Get Direct TV from the Dish Store. Enjoy better TV and more value for just $31.99 per month. Get a two-room Direct TV system for free. Call the Dish Store, your source for satellite TV. If you've been injured in an automobile accident, talk with Salino and Barnes. One of the things that I most enjoy about being a lawyer is helping clients in their time of need, fighting to ensure that they receive the compensation they rightfully deserve. For us, it's about fairness. It's about justice. Although nobody can make up for your loss and suffering, our courtroom successes are proof that we go the extra mile to obtain the largest possible settlement. Salino and Barnes, 454-2020.
when the world was supposed to be innocent. I don't want to die. I haven't even seen San Francisco yet. One American family was ahead of their time. Oh my God, you're killing each other. Oliver B. Sunday, March 9th at 8.30 on Fox Rochester. Now, from Fox Rochester, the 10 o'clock news with Melanie Barnes. The man believed to be the key planner of the 9-11 terrorist attacks on the United States is in American custody. Khalid Shak Mohammed and two other suspected Al-Qaeda members were nabbed yesterday during a raid on a house near Islamabad, Pakistan. Authorities say Mohammed, one of Osama bin Laden's top lieutenants, has been taken to an undisclosed location outside of Pakistan for interrogation. For the latest on the war on terror and defusing Iraq, here's CNN's Nick Robertson. Now, very interestingly, in this weekly news briefing, President Saddam Hussein's top scientific advisor, General Amr al-Sadi, saying that the pictures uh, taken showing the destruction of the al Samud II missiles will not be shown. He said this will, they will not be shown because of the sensitivities of the Iraqi people, that it would upset them if they, if they were to see the al Samud II missile being destroyed. He said the uh, Iraqi officials had also requested that the UN inspectors did not publicize the pictures that they had taken showing the destruction process. General Amr al-Sadi also saying that if the United States, as he put it, was to illegally go to war with Iraq at this stage, then Iraq would stop the destruction of the al Samud II missile. A very interesting point put forward by General Amr al-Sadi, clearly appealing uh, to the debate uh, going on in the United States about the, about the cost of a possible war. He said that a war would cost $80 billion. He said if there was no war and the UN weapons inspectors kept about their work, then that would be free. There would be no charge to the U.S. taxpayer. The reason for that, he said, was because, uh, because the weapons inspectors work here that cost $80, $80 million a year is paid for out of Iraq's oil for food program, out of the oil that Iraq produces. So he said, therefore, no cost to the taxpayer. He also commented on a video that he'd uh, been shown or it had uh, discussed with him whereby a, a powerful U.S. bomb could be targeted at underground stocks of uh, chemical or biological nerve agents. He said, why go to the cost of doing that if the United States knows where the coordinates are, pass those coordinates to the UN weapons inspectors and save the cost. If they know the coordinates, because you need, you need an input for this weapon to hit its target. That is, if you have the coordinates of that bunker, it would be much easier and less costly and much faster to provide those coordinates to Onmovic. They'll do the job free of charge at no cost to the American ta taxpayer. Wouldn't you agree? General Amr al-Sadi also discussing talks that have been going on Sunday evening between Iraqi officials and UN weapons inspectors about an Iraqi proposal to de for the UN inspectors to determine quantities of VX and anthrax biological and nerve agents that have been disposed of in the deserts of Iraq. Now, General Amr al-Sadi said that this would involve testing DNA samples taken from the soil. However, UN weapons inspectors say they are not convinced that the methodology that Iraq Iraq has proposed will necessarily lead to clear and concise results about the quantities of those agents destroyed. That again was CNN's Nick Robertson. The U.S. is adjusting its plans for war with Iraq this one day after the Turkish parliament rejected a plan allowing U.S. troops to be, to be deployed from their country. The U.S. had hoped to station 60,000 troops in Turkey to act as a northern front. There is word, however, Turkey's parliament could reconsider the issue this week. Five people are dead after a plane crash in North Carolina. The small plane crashed nose first in a wooded area less than two miles from the Mount Airy, Surrey County Airport. Officials say four of the victims were from the same family, while the other was a friend. The dead are believed to include the son of former Senator Oscar Harris. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. Well, he's considered one of America's favorite authors. When we come back, how his birthday is helping kids around America learn to read. Good Sunday evening. I'm meteorologist Elizabeth Hart. A fairly seasonal day temperature-wise with an afternoon high of 37. Winter comes back with a vengeance overnight. Tonight, we'll have details up next. 
What kind of guys does bartender Billie Jean always meet? Drunk losers. So we've scoured the country and raised the bar. I'm looking for a stallion. I want a stud boy. Now you're going to choose her a husband. <laughs> I can't even tell you the dates that I have. You really want me to go there? No more losers. Please. So pick her a winner, because she's going to marry him sight on scene. America, you better hook me up. She's on the new reality series Married by America. Monday at 8 on Fox Rochester. Fox Rochester is celebrating our region with more All in a Day's Drive contest and prizes. Log on to foxrochester.com and learn about the travel opportunities around Rochester in our region. Northern Pennsylvania, Swain, Toronto, Holiday Valley, Niagara Falls. Visit foxrochester.com to sign up to win great prizes and travel opportunities. Sponsored by Roadrunner High Speed Online. You'll get there faster with Roadrunner. See what's out there All in a Day's Drive and win through foxrochester.com. tell you all the features of the new Infiniti G35. But hey, who has time to watch a 14-minute commercial? The new G35 from Infiniti. Now available with attractive lease and finance rates at your Infiniti dealer. Looking for quality, award-winning television? It's yours with Time Warner Cable. Cable continues to create more innovative and entertaining shows, winning 10 of 11 television awards at the Golden Globes. If you don't have Time Warner Cable, now is the time to get the very best in television with more than 200 channels of great entertainment. Call now and get digital cable plus six channels of HBO at 25% off for four months. Call Time Warner Cable today, 1-800-756-7956. Now, from Fox Rochester, the exclusive seven-day future cast. We were having a fairly seasonal day temperature-wise, and then bam, in comes that cold front and changes things all around. The high today, 37 degrees, which is exactly normal for the second day of March. 10 is now the low today, and we just achieved that at the top of the hour. 21 is normal there. We did have a trace of snow. We also had some rain, as we're well aware of, this afternoon. And the thing about the rain is that that cold front swung in so quickly, temperatures started to drop off rapidly. What moisture was left on the ground froze and we have some very icy roads out there. We've had a number of accidents reported in the area, and if you do have travel plans later tonight or early tomorrow morning, be forewarned, roads are not in the best condition. Ten now at the airport. Add to that westerly winds at 25 miles per hour, gusting to 32 miles per hour, and at times it feels like it's about 10, 15 degrees below zero. Windshield readings may actually drop below that overnight tonight, down to about 20 below. Therefore, National Weather Service has issued a windchill advisory in effect overnight tonight through tomorrow morning. Air temperatures will dip down to about 3 in Rochester, 2 in Pittsburgh. I think these readings out to the south and west at the zero mark are a little optimistic. I think there's a pretty good chance we'll see some sub-zero readings around the area. Tomorrow, eh, not a whole lot better. We're only going to warm into the lower and middle teens, but the good news is the wind will start to slack off, and by Tuesday, we are going to see some warmer temperatures in here. Now, as far as the snowfall goes, it has not been anything heavy just yet. A band of snow moving right along with the cold front has since passed out of the area, but again, with a west-northwesterly flow coming into play, we could see some additional snow showers overnight tonight, but nothing more than an inch or two accumulation. You get a little better perspective of what's going on. The band of snow, again, was right along the cold front. It's pressed off to the east now and is pushing in towards Binghamton, and we'll be arriving in the Capital District, where up until a couple of hours ago, they had some light rain showers. Broader perspective takes us back to the Midwest and shows you the tail end of the front, which is producing a few snow showers through sections of Illinois. Illinois and Indiana. Still got a couple of raindrops showing up in through portions of the mid and lower Mississippi River Valley, but not a whole lot of moisture associated with this thing. Pretty good swath of snow pushing through the Buckeye State, extending all the way up towards the Cleveland area and then into the northwestern corner of Pennsylvania. Initially, I was a little concerned that this thing was going to uh, spark off some lake effect snow showers, but in the immediate Rochester area, it does not look like that's going to be an issue. Off to the east in Oswego, all the way northward towards Watertown, could be a problem for the next couple of days. So here's the culprit in all this, a mean old nasty Arctic cold front. 
pressing on through. High pressure moves in relatively quickly behind that, and around it, it's going to enhance that west northwesterly flow. So, again, winds very gusty overnight tonight, low zero to five degrees. Wind chill advisory in effect. We could pick up another inch or two of snow. The seven day future cash shows a pretty quick recovery temperature wise into the 30s Tuesday and Wednesday. A dry day on Thursday, more snow or rain possible on Friday as temps push up to near 40 degrees. And then by next weekend, looks like we'll have at least one sunny day Saturday with a high of 28. Tim? All right, thanks, Elizabeth. John DeTulio joins us now with a quick look at sports. Hey, John. Hey, Timmy. You know, sunny day for U of R, Fisher. The uh, Division Three brackets were unveiled tonight for the uh, Division Three tournament. And yes, the U of R, and the St. John Fisher Lady Cardinals both going dancing, as was some stressful times tonight as uh, head coach uh, Rob Corniker, the men's Fisher team, and Phil Kaler, the women's team, had everybody gathered around as they were unveiled. Now, Fisher and the U of R both receiving buys, the men and the women. We're going to break this all down for you coming up later on Sports Extra. All the area teams, especially those two, having solid, solid seasons. Meanwhile, Tiger Woods in the in the world match play taking on David Toms. And Woods was actually in solid control. This He was up five after uh, 19 holes. They play a 36 hole of final day match play championship. David Toms would get it to one with three to go, but in the end, the best golfer in the world would prevail. He wins two and one for his second victory of the season. Coming up later on the half hour edition of Sports Extra, wouldn't be the extra without some high school hoops. We're going to break down a solid weekend of sectional championship play. All that and more coming up at 10 32. All right, John, we're looking forward to it. Thanks yeah, a lot. Coming up, we'll take a look at which films are taking top honors at the box office. Stay with us. The 10 o'clock news brought to you by Raymore and Flanagan. Can you say wall to wall? Enjoy Raymore and Flanagan's wall to wall sale when savings are store wide in every department, hmm? including all the famous brand names you trust. Save on it all. Wall to wall. With guaranteed delivery in three days or less, plus great financing. No deposit, interest, or payments for a whole year. Wall to wall. Raymore and Flanagan's wall to wall sale now through Monday. Yeah. If you thought they'd catch the terrorists... There's evidence the governments in the Middle East are behind this. If you thought they'd stop the conspiracy... They're not going to be able to defuse this bomb. You're going to have to fly it out of here. If you thought there would be a happy ending... It's a suicide mission. Think again. Sweetheart, we found the bomb. We needed someone to fly it over the desert so when the bomb exploded, nobody would get killed. And someone turned out to be me. How are you getting off the plane? I'm not, sweetheart. 24. Tuesday at 9 on Fox Rochester. Jeep announces the best values in America. Now's the time to get great products, like the 2003 award-winning Jeep vehicles. Great protection, our fully transferable 770 powertrain limited warranty, and great deals, up to $2,500 cash allowance or 0% financing on all 2003 Jeep vehicles. Great products, great protection, great deals. All add up to the best values in America. Hurry to your Jeep dealer for details or visit Jeep.com. Wouldn't a pizza be great right now? One with a stuffed crust, 100% cheddar added to the outer crust, and toasted to a golden cheddar crunch. That's not just any pizza. It's the new stuffed crust gold from Pizza Hut. And yes, it would be great right now. Fox Rochester wants to give you and your friends a pizza party. Featuring the new stuffed crust gold from Pizza Hut. Visit foxrochester.com. Sign up, and you might be chowing down soon. Yeah, yeah. The hip-hop martial arts film kicked its way to the top of the pack at the box office over the weekend. Rapper DMX and martial arts star Jet Li's film Cradle to the Grave grossed over $17 million over the weekend. Bringing in almost $14 million and coming in second place was the comedy Old School. And at number three was the action-packed Daredevil, which had $11 million in ticket sales. Encouraging children to grab a book is what Read Across America is all about, and today the books of Dr. Seuss helped out. Target is celebrating Dr. Seuss's birthday. Every year, Target sets up reading stations at all of their stores. This year, stores in Rochester are taking it a step further and will be bringing their message to schools. We'll be right back. Stay with us.
as one who served more than 20 years in the military upholding the Constitution, we support free speech even if we disagree with the content. But we have to wonder about these anti-war protesters in certain European cities. Just where were they in 1980 when Saddam Hussein launched a war against Iran? Or in 1988 when Saddam used chemical weapons against entire Iraqi Kurdish villages, killing as many as 100,000 men, women, and children? Or when Saddam ordered the invasion of Kuwait in 1990, and the kidnapping of children, the raping of women, and the killing of men. Or in 1991, when his forces set fires to Kuwaiti oil fields, poisoning the atmosphere. And how about 2001, when Iraq's sympathetic terrorists toppled two skyscrapers, attacked the Pentagon, and crashed a jetliner in Pennsylvania. It's doubtful they're anti-war. They're just anti-American. That's the point. Go to NewsCentral.tv and tell us what you think. I'm Mark Hyman. What is it, boy? Ah! A hurricane hits Springfield. Somehow the animals are always the first to know. Will the people panic? The last pineapple! And plenty right, too! Or can they weather the storm? Remain calm. You will all have a chance to be gone. The Simpsons. Monday at 6 on Fox Rochester. Followed by... Hank carries the Olympic torch. Hank, wait! Dang it, Dale. Next, King of the Hill. Monday at 6.30, following The Simpsons on Fox Rochester. Hi, I'm Bill Nojay, volunteer chairman at Your RTS. Recently, we've done everything from putting children's books on buses and expanding service for seniors to sharing a new vision for our downtown. Today, our focus is jobs, creating them with our new transit center, getting you to them for less money, and making it easier to find them. When it comes to growing our local economy, we see the big picture, and we'll be here to take you there. Hey, hon, look at this. Canandaigua Motors is becoming Canandaigua Chrysler Dodge. Why? It says after six decades, Canandaigua Motors is becoming Canandaigua Chrysler Dodge to let people know they're a Chrysler and Dodge dealer. I don't know why they bother. People don't notice things like name changes anymore. Yeah, but the name makes sense. Canandaigua Chrysler Dodge. People will know they're in Canandaigua and that they sell Chryslers and Dodges. I just hope they have a way of getting people's attention that they're changing their name. Probably right. Not everybody pays attention to details like we do. The Chase Pitkin Roller and Floor Hockey Leagues begin April 12th at the ESL Sports Center. Ages children through adult co-ed. Applications available at many area Chase Pickens stores and the ESL Sports Center. Check out ESLSportsCenter.com or call 424-GOAL for more information. The ESL Sports Center, the coolest place in town. When you see news happening, dial pound 31 on your Verizon wireless phone. Join in. A service brought to you by Verizon Wireless. Now here's a look at some of the stories we're working on for tomorrow's 10 o'clock news. Energy efficiency is at the top of the agenda at the Rochester Airport. We'll show you some of the new incentives. Plus, tomorrow is Safety First Monday. Dana Roselli takes a look at how students in grade school are preparing for disaster. Join us for these stories and more coming up tomorrow night at 10 o'clock. Meteorologist Elizabeth Hart has one last look at tomorrow's Futurecast. Tim, the windchill advisory is in effect through tomorrow morning. Overnight lows will dip down to about zero and slowly warm only into the lower and middle teens. We also have an ongoing chance of snow through the day. We could pick up a couple of inches, but things do moderate fairly quickly temperature-wise. We'll be back into the 20s and 30s for daytime highs by the middle of the work week. Tim? All right, thanks, Elizabeth. That's going to do it for us. John DeTulio is up next with Sports Extra. We'll see you right back here tomorrow night for the 10 o'clock news. Good night, everyone. The network that rewrote the future of television comedy is taking a crack at TV's legendary past. Quick, turn on Carson. That zoo guy's on, and he's got red-ass baboons. <laughs> Consider yourself warned. You embarrass me, I'll make your life a living hell. Did you give me a little credit? Over here! Check out the craters on this spoon! <laughs> Oliver Bean premieres Sunday, March 9th at 8.30 on Fox Rochester. Now during the National Caravan event, get the best values in America from Dodge. Take our best products like Dodge Caravan, the best-selling minivan ever, with available power sliding doors and power rear hatch. 
plus our best warranty. Dodge's fully transferable 770 powertrain limited warranty. Plus our best deals, like up to a $3,500 cash allowance. Or 0% financing for 60 months. Add it all up, it equals the best values in America. See your Dodge dealer or visit Dodge.com. Looking for quality, award-winning television? It's yours with Time Warner Cable. Cable continues to create more innovative and entertaining shows, winning 10 of 11 television awards at the Golden Globes. If you don't have Time Warner Cable, now is the time to get the very best in television with more than 200 channels of great entertainment. Call now and get digital cable plus six channels of HBO at 25% off for four months. Call Time Warner Cable today, 1-800-756-7956. Fox Rochester is celebrating our region and those who walk to help others. Lace up your sneakers and help make a difference in the lives of 6,400 individuals living with multiple sclerosis in upstate New York. Join the 2003 Time Warner Cable MS Walk on Sunday, April 6th and help move the upstate New York chapter of the National MS Society another step closer to a cure for MS. For more information or to register, call 1-800-FIGHT-MS or visit www.msupstateny.org. Fox Rochester, celebrating our region. Low, extra low payments at Webster Ford. 03 Focus LX Sedan, $159 per month. 03 Taurus LX, $209 per month. 03 Windstar, $279 per month. Folks, you need to hurry. Don't miss this. We offer you a great deal. At Webster Ford, we treat you like family. Now, Sports Extra, live with John DeTulia. Good evening and welcome to Fox Rochester's Sunday Sports Extra. Hi, everybody. I'm John DeTulio. For the next half hour, the forecast calls for sports with a heavy dose of the local scene with some tasty sprinkles to top off a national look. But we tip off the big show with local college hoops. And two weeks from today, March Madness begins with the Selection Sunday for the NCAA Division I tournament. But tonight, the bid's being handed out for the Division III men and women's dance. Ooh, yes. We are over at St. John Fisher tonight as St. John Fisher men and women both receiving the, uh, the second seed in the East region. Rob Corniker and Phil Kaler doing solid jobs, both receiving uh, first-round buys. As uh, we take a look at those brackets here for the uh, Division Three tournament, there you see the first round by St. John Fisher. They will get the winner. There you see of Colby Sawyer in Hamilton. They'll be at home next Saturday. Meanwhile, the men getting the first round by, they are the top seed over in the women's bracket. The U of R women only for the fourth time going to the D3 dance. They get the first round by. They're at home next Saturday as well, as well as St. John Fisher getting the second seed but getting that first round bribe as they will take on the winner of Brockport in Ithaca who will tangle on Wednesday. 21 wins? I, I don't know if, if I would have uh, imagined that but you know we've had we've had every you know, someone step up every different game you know and it's Pat McGee, Ramey, Um, and some of the guys who haven't started for us and maybe aren't playing 25 minutes a game. Staying on top of our game, staying focused, we can't like sometimes we just lose our focus and we're all excited, so it's going to be kind of hectic, but we just play our game. Can't wait now. MCC, uh, Tim Paranello's club, the Lady Trib uh, Tribunes in controls. They took on JCC and Caitlin McPherson, the Livonia product, a three pointer, 52 31. GCC, a little baseline uh, bucket from Latara Odom. They're still down 19. Then it's all, but it was all MCC. Here, three pointer from Tara Walker. MCC rolls the number one seed for uh, Region 3. They win it 76 to 44. The men of GCC taking out MCC 86 54 as they uh, now uh, move on to the district championship. Meanwhile, Kentucky and Georgia, all kinds of problems for Jim Herrick and his program right now. Antoine Barber, the steal and the slam. Cats up at that point three. Then Cliff Hawkins comes up with the big steal, but he can't com uh, convert. But there is Chuck Hayes for the putback. Kentucky rolls once more, 74 to 66. UConn and Pitt. Ooh, yes. Jim Calhoun looking to beat the Panthers, who are undefeated this year at the Peterson Events Center. 
working it down low, Mika Oka four, and all of a sudden the Huskies led 26-14, they're up at half, 39-35, but Ben Howland's club comes right back. Julius Page caught fire. He scored 11 straight points for the Panthers in the second half, capped it off with a three ball from the corner. Panthers win once more, 71 to 67, they're 21 and four. Meanwhile, Coach K, and number five, Duke, at the Garden, taking on St. John's, and this is Dante Jones, 67-57 lead. In fact, they led 71-60, and then things started to change. Three ball by Anthony Glover, 71-70. Then we're tied at 71. Daniel Ewing turns it over. There's Marcus Hatton. He gets fouled as he went in for the game when he layup. He would get two free throws. He would only need one. St. John's rallies back, score the final 12 points when it's 72. 71. The Red Storm getting things going. Hockey time. The Amherst four game winning streak being stopped Saturday night in Grand Rapids, losing 3 1. The same two clubs on the ice once again in Michigan, and the result the same. The Amherst now 0 4 against the Griffins this year. Nor Millie did get his 11. Tom Askey in net tonight. Uh, stopping 25 shots, but Derek King gets two goals for Grand Rapids. He now has four goals in his last four games. Now, swing in the golf. Tiger Woods and David Tom surviving the last four days in Carlsbad, California, going head to head in a 36 hole final of the match play championship. It was only Thursday that Tom spent the night in the hospital for food poisoning. How about a quick cure? It's called a $1,050,000 check for first place. Yet yeah, Tom was healthy, but Tiger, he was ready to do some chomp off to La Costa Resort. And Tiger would lead four up after the morning 18 and sees a five up edge after Birdie here, number one in the afternoon. And yes, Mrs. Wood says, nice job. Bring home that old check. I know you're going to do it, but wait a minute. Here comes David Toms. Birdie on 15. He kind of just one down with three to go, but on the 35th hole, look at Tiger. No matter where he is, who says he can't come out of the sand? Ooh, the lovely, lively hands. He gets it tight. Woods holes out to win two and one. He has won all four world championships, his second victory of 2003. Now, Bobby Labonte winning the poll Friday for today's uh, Daimler Chrysler 400 from Las Vegas. Meanwhile, Jeff Gordon qualifying second with little E beginning fourth. We head to Vegas, and there you see points leader. That would be Kurt Busch. But lap 51, little E passes Jeff Gordon. He's got the lead. But here comes Matt Kenseth. With five wins last season, he would able to come through and win easily as uh, he had a four-tire change in just 13 seconds. That was the key for Kenseth. He holds off Dale Earnhardt Jr. by nine seconds. Michael Waltrip finished third. Bobby Labonte and Tony Stewart rounding out the top five. Now, from one track to another, intersectional, we got the qualifiers, and we want to talk about an athlete. Let's talk about Andrew Park, the, pair of, uh, the Fairport uh, pole vaulter coming up huge here at 15 feet, and it's Fairport teammate Mike Reynolds also looking good here as uh, they were being conducted here over at the U of R. Kudos to all the athletes taking place today in the intersectionals. Now, we've reached our first time here, uh, our first time out here, I should say, at the Extra. Coming up, full segment of high school action, our latest five, uh, Fab Five, our team of the week, and a look at the top five plays of the week. All that and more, yes, when Sunday Sports Extra returns on Fox Rochester. Jerry's dentist is in pain. You know, we have the highest suicide rate of any profession. Is that why it's so hard to get an appointment? Monday at 11 on Fox Rochester. If you've been injured on a construction site, talk with Salino and Barnes. Successful lawyers must have a sense of compassion, of caring. That's the business we're in. Helping people in need. Helping families whose lives have been turned upside down because of an accident. We've dedicated our careers to representing people whose lives have been devastated as a result of the carelessness of others. At Salino and Barnes, we have a proven track record and the experience needed to achieve maximum results. Salino and Barnes, 454-2020. What kind of guys does bartender Billy Jean always meet? Drunk losers. So we scoured the country and raised the bar. I'm looking for a stallion. I want a stud boy. Now you're going to choose her a husband. <laughs> I can't even tell you the dates that I have. You really want me to go there? No more losers. Please. So pick her a winner, because she's going to marry him sight unseen. America, you better hook me up. She's on the new reality series, Married by America. Monday at 8 on Fox Rochester. 
I've been cutting back on cigarettes. It hasn't been easy. But I'm down to half what I used to smoke. And I'm ready to lose them for good. So I did something that's supposed to help. I just grabbed a pen. Thank you. And picked a day. That's a good day. Now I've got something to shoot for. So I can kind of prepare for it in my head. Help! I know it sounds simple. Simple things go a long way. If you thought finding the bomb would guarantee a happy ending... It's a suicide mission. Think again. We found the bomb. We needed someone to fly it over the desert so when the bomb exploded, nobody would get killed. How are you getting off the plane? I'm not, sweetheart. 24. Tuesday at 9 on Fox Rochester. Sunday Sports Extra presents the Fab Five live with John DeTulio. That's right, it's that time for the Fab Five, which is a Fox Rochester sports rankings and breakdowns in high school hoops and hockey. And we begin our latest poll on the ice. Ooh, let's take a look at some of those rankings. Hilton comes in at number five. Their season's over. Geneseo at number four. About the Grease Thunder. They advance to the uh, Division II state tournament semis with a 6-3 win over Clarkston. Andrew Choma with 32 saves will play Williamsville North out of Section 6. Saturday, Utica 545. Meanwhile, Batavia, they advance with a 3-0 win over Thousand Islands. Uh, on Saturday, meanwhile, Brockport, 3-2 double overtime winners uh, versus Seton Catholic of Section 1. They advance Craig Willis, the game winner. They play Ithaca on Saturday in Utica. Meanwhile, now let's go with basketball. HFL, ooh, they're locked in a Class Double B final with Sutherland at number 5. South Seneca, Section 5 champs. They rolled in the qualifier versus Cuba Rushford. Hilton, they beat Spenceport in the Class A Section Files. More of the cadets later. Fairport comes in at number two. They got a major showdown Monday with a Greece Athena for the Class AA Championship. Meanwhile, boys basketball. How about Leroy? Class Triple C champs over Wellsville. Brendan Fulmer, 23. School of the Arts. We'll have more of them in just a moment. They beat Midlake for the first ever sectional championship. Mending gets their first sectional title in 20 years. They beat Batavia, 67-51. East defeats Fairport in overtime. They've got a heavy task at hand. Later in the week, we'll take on McQuaid, who knocked off Marshall. It's a sectional championship. And from our Fab Five comes our team of the week. In just their seventh year of varsity basketball, the Silverhawks captured a sectional title with a come-from-behind win Saturday over Midlakes. It's just been a great season. It's a dream season, a dream come true. Well, the dream season was in huge jeopardy after 16 minutes as the Silverhawks found themselves trailing 29-18 to Midlakes at halftime in the Class B sectional final. Well, all year long, I told them that we've had bad quarters, we've had bad halves, but we always had a great quarter, and we hadn't hit that yet. We felt we were capable of applying good defense and being able to get into some transition baskets, and that's what happened. What did happen over the final 16 minutes was that the Silverhawks' defense clamped down on the Screaming Eagles' offense, holding them to just 13 points while forcing them to shoot only 23% for the game. Six foot eight, Olawasihi Osini was a force in the middle, not only scoring 17 points, but blocking eight shots. He helped us all year, we've been doing that, blocking shots and helping us on defense when men get by us, and that's what you do when somebody get by you. You help the other person, you help the teammate on defense. Oh yeah, you know, I'm in the middle, protecting the basket. It was a team effort, you know, defense win games. That's, that's Coach Mata. This is what I wanted to do when I came to this school. I was, I, I wanted to put us on the map. We were a laughing stock, and now we're, we're Section 5 champs. We felt like an expansion team that finally grew up. And um, now people are, are starting to respect us, and I think they saw some good basketball tonight. It's just the kids have been great. That's a good basketball team. They're athletic. Watch out for them. Now it's time for this week's version of our high school hot shots, which is our top five plays a week caught on tape here by Fox Rochester Sports. Let's take a look. Ooh, we've got some serious highlights. We start with number five about Marshall's Eddie Smith. Three-pointer. He would get the bounce. The jurors gave McQuaid all they could handle in that Class A final Saturday night. How about Batavia's TB? Tom Briggs off the face off the sweet gold. Ice Devils win in the regionals. Meanwhile. Back to the School of the Arts and Solomon Donaldson. He just heard from him, but watch. How about this dunk? Putting it down. They upset top, uh, top seeded Livonia earlier in the week. Meanwhile, Marissa Clark had a Hilton watcher go coast to coast in the Lady Cadets Class A win over Spencerport. 
And finally, East High's Kenny Wilson, the give and go in leading the Orientals, yes, to that victory over RH and later against Fairport. Well, it's halftime here at the Extra. Coming up, we're going to tell you about one certain Viking who helped lead a charge to a sectional title. That story and more when Sunday Sports Extra rolls on on Fox Rochester. What is it, boys? A hurricane hits Springfield. Somehow the animals are always the first to know. Will the people panic? The last pineapple and plenty right too. Or can they weather the storm? Remain calm. You will all have a chance to be gone. The Simpsons. Monday at 6 on Fox Rochester. Followed by... Hank carries the Olympic torch. Hank, wait. Dang it, Dale. Next, King of the Hill. Monday at 6.30, following The Simpsons on Fox Rochester. Hit the road with Fox Rochester, celebrating our region. Rochester, it's made for living. Our winner all-in-a-day's drive travel guide is ready for you. Packed with great ideas and events information from around our region. Toronto, Niagara Falls, Northern Pennsylvania. Check your nearby Western New York Arby's restaurant for your coffee. Brought to you by your local Pontiac dealers. Looking for quality, award-winning television? It's yours with Time Warner Cable. Cable continues to create more innovative and entertaining shows, winning 10 of 11 television awards at the Golden Globes. If you don't have Time Warner Cable, now is the time to get the very best in television with more than 200 channels of great entertainment. Call now and get digital cable plus six channels of HBO at 25% off for four months. Call Time Warner Cable today, 1-800-756-7956. Judge Judy. Who's next? Weekdays at 5 on Fox Rochester. Get the best values in America from Dodge. Take our best products, like Dodge Durango with Magnum VA Power Standard and best-in-class available towing and torque, plus our best warranty. Dodge's fully transferable 770 Powertrain Limited Warranty, plus our best deals, like a $4,500 cash allowance or 0% financing for 60 months. Add it all up. It equals the best values in America. See your Dodge dealer or visit Dodge.com. Now, back to Sunday Sports Extra from Fox Rochester. Here's John DeTulio. We are back. Hockey time. And on Thursday, the NHL reached a verbal preliminary agreement with Rochester billionaire Tom Golisano to purchase the Buffalo Sabres. A written deal is still in the works, but could be finalized by the end of this week. Now we go to the Windy City, and there you see Joe Sackick and the Lanch taking on the Blackhawks, and Milan Hayduk staying with it. He gets his own rebound and beats Jocelyn Tebow for a 1-0 lead. Chicago has come back. They're in the third, though. This game is still tied at one apiece. Now we move ahead to our Athlete of the Week, and this Sunday that honor belongs to Pittsburgh Menden junior point guard Chris Shelvoid, whose tournament performance enabled the Vikings to cut down the Section 5 nets. Here's Fox Sports' Greg Sage with the story. Last year, Menden's Chris Shelvoy watched intently as rival Pittsburgh Sutherland won the Section 5 Class Double B title over Batavia. He watched as fellow junior point guard C.J. Lee dictated tempo and elevated the play of his teammates. And yesterday, Shelvoy delivered a likewise exemplary performance, netting 13 points and dealing out seven assists and leading the Vikings to their first sectional title since 1983. We have a lot of confidence and we knew we could hang with them. We just wanted to keep it, keep it kind of close and going for the kill in the second half. And we did that. We played together. We were a team. Played great defense the whole game and we worked the ball and got everybody involved. Chris did a wonderful job getting everyone involved and that was the difference, playing like a team. For DiCarlo, Saturday's win avenged countless bitter losses to Batavia in recent years as both he and his lone junior starter completely devoted themselves to winning. There's a good reason that they beat us twice this year, three times last year, and twice the year before. They had our number, and today we came out and we deserved to win. Everything we did, we planned to do what we did tonight and win. We, we took down the Nets last night, all right? Practicing what it would feel like around our head. Today was a game where they really took me out of the offense, so I just relied on my teammates. I made. I just relied on them, and, and I had confidence in that they would come through, and, and they did. For Sunday Sports Extra, I'm Greg Sage. Kudos to CS and along with GS, solid piece. Look out for the Vikings. Now, before we go to a break, 
One NFL note, Rob Johnson, the former Bills quarterback and Buccaneer, has signed with the Washington Redskins. Coming up, a look at a moment cadet country uh, will remember for years to come. This is Sunday Sports Extra right here on Fox Rochester. Sports Extra brought to you by Taco Bell. Taco Bell's new Monterey chicken quesadilla combines two tastes so tempting it might trigger a Monterey matchup. So rich. She digs me. Mm, spicy too. Really digs me. Working the old quesadilla angle again, huh? The Monterey chicken quesadilla. Rich Monterey Jack cheese meets spicy pepper jack. Melted together over all white meat chicken. For the new Monterey chicken quesadilla, think outside the bun. He may not be the smartest kid, or the strongest, or the coolest, or the most athletic, or... Hey, is there a butt coming anytime soon? Fox presents the story of a painfully average kid. Oh, yeah! Oh, okay. Come on, suck it up. Living through an extraordinary time. I love you, Ted. Mom, Oliver's acting weird. Apologize to your brother. All I did was say I love you. He's doing it again. Oliver Bean. Still waiting. Sunday, March 9th at 8.30 on Fox Rochester. From early mornings to late nights, from the store around the corner to business around the country, your whole family can count on the best wireless network in the nation, Verizon Wireless. Get the America's Choice National Family Share Plan and share unlimited night and weekend minutes on up to four separate lines. Hurry and buy an LG phone for $49.99 after rebate. Plus, now get unlimited text messaging for only $2.99 monthly access. So no one's ever out of the loop. Verizon Wireless. We never stop working for you. Can you hear me now? Good. Sir, excuse me. Hi, what's the problem? We're lost. How do we get to Oak Street? Oak Street, yeah. Uh, go up to Oliver Boulevard and right. Thank you. Thanks. I hate on this. The Civic from Honda. It figures. Now, from Fox Rochester, Sunday Sports Extra, live with John DeTulio. NBA talking with all the talk surrounding the likes of Kobe Bryant, Tim Duncan, Tracy McGrady, and even Jason Kidd for MVP. Let's not forget about Kevin Garnett, who has led the T-Wolves to a 39-21 record in only six and, a half, uh, six and a half games back of Dallas atop the Central Division. As for the Knicks, playoffs are still in reach, believe it or not. They only trail Orlando by three and a half. For the eighth and final playoff spot. We go to the Target Center where the Wolves just don't lose and Don Chaney's team, you knew they weren't going to come up big today and Kevin Garnett does everything. Range, and watch him down low here to fade away over Michael Doliak. The T Wolves out at that point 56-31. Don Chaney just watched T-Mac get off today as the Timberwolves roll 99-90. Garnett, 22.16 rebounds. Meanwhile, Steve Francis and Yao Ming hosting San Antonio. First half, the Spurs running Stevie Jackson to Emmanuel Ginobili here. The alley-oop, Spurs led 39-22. Later, Ginobili to Tim. Tony Parker with 16 points. The Spurs come up big. They've now won 13 of 14. They win it 97 to 88. NBA scorecard. Let's take a look. Orlando over Cleveland, 102-76. Tracy McGrady with 28 points. Utah wins by one over New Jersey, 91 to 90. Carl Malone with 20. Antonio Davis, 19 for the Raptors. How about Michael Jordan? He shoots his 9 of 27. Karan Butler with 20 points as the Heat cool the Wizards by 10. Now it's time for our extra effort, which is an award given to an individual or group who goes above and beyond the call of duty in the world of sports. And tonight we salute the Hilton Cadets Girls Basketball, whose sectional triumph was four decades in the making. Here once again is Greg Sage. Three weeks into their season, Hilton Girls Basketball was searching for respectability. Thoughts of competing for a sectional championship would have been laughable. We were two and five. We were struggling. But they knew they were better than that. And you know what they are. We don't, we don't have a superstar. We have a bunch of nice players. And, you know, I'm just proud for them. But patience and perseverance paid off the last two weeks. After stunning top seed at Canandaigua, Hilton met Spencerport Wednesday for the Class A championship. And after trailing by as many as five in the second half, cadet point guard Marissa Clark willed her team to victory scoring nine of her game-high 19 points 
in the final eight minutes. We really came together and just played as a team. More. Probably heart and teamwork. We really worked hard for it, so I really wasn't expecting it. <laughs> it was really an honor. Well, I think, you know, when we went in our own tournament, when we beat Elba, Elba was undefeated. We were 2-5, and five and we did a good job on them, and they're a great team. I think at that point, the girls started to believe that we could play with anybody, and that was good. First one since 1961, boys. So it's our first one ever. We showed the girls the trophies, and, you know, we said it was important. It's our fourth trip, my fourth trip here. We couldn't do it. Lisa Sheeler was in my way a couple years ago. So, I mean, we're really proud. The girls worked hard for it. I'm really proud for them. For Sunday Sports Extra. I'm Greg Sage. GS, solid job and serious kudos to the Lady Cadets making history out in Hilton. Before we go to a break, you know, we're going to come back and talk about the sports menu and more when Sunday Sports Action returns right here on Fox Rochester. Stay tuned. Thought they'd catch the terrorists. There's evidence the governments in the Middle East are behind this. If you thought they'd stop the conspiracy, they're not going to be able to defuse this bomb. You're going to have to fly it out of here. If you thought there would be a happy ending, it's a suicide mission. Think again. Sweetheart, we found the bomb. We needed someone to fly it over the desert so when the bomb exploded, nobody would get killed. And someone turned out to be me. How are you getting off the plane? I'm not, sweetheart. 24. Tuesday at 9 on Fox Rochester. Chase Pitkin Roller and Floor Hockey Leagues begin April 12th at the ESL Sports Center. Ages children through adult co-ed. Applications available at many area Chase Pitkin stores and the ESL Sports Center. Check out ESLSportsCenter.com or call 424-GOAL for more information. The ESL Sports Center, the coolest place in town. If you've been injured on a construction site, talk with Salino and Barnes. Successful lawyers must have a sense of compassion, of caring, that's the business we're in. Helping people in need. Helping families whose lives have been turned upside down because of an accident. We've dedicated our careers to representing people whose lives have been devastated as a result of the carelessness of others. At Salino and Barnes, we have a proven track record and the experience needed to achieve maximum results. Salino and Barnes, 454-2020. Extra low payments at Webster 4. Old 3 Ranger, $139 per month. 03 Explore 4 door 4x4 four four, 315 per month. 03 F250 Super Duty 4x4 four four, 349 per month. Folks, you need to hurry. Don't miss this. We offer you a great deal. At Webster Ford, we treat you like family. Now, a preview of the upcoming sports menu on Sunday Sports Extra on Fox Rochester. Let's start chomping on that menu. We got to talk college basketball. We start with Syracuse at Notre Dame Tuesday, end the season Sunday versus Rutgers and Big East Tournament. Meanwhile, there you see the Bonnies at UMass, then at Dayton to take on the Flyers Saturday. Meanwhile, girls basketball triple header tomorrow night at the War Memorial Class B, Double B, and Double A. Huge action. Elsewhere going on, we've got some hockey, Sabres hockey. There you see Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, Washington, Toronto, Florida, and Tampa Bay. Give it up for the Amherst. They've got Binghamton, Hershey, Hamilton, and Albany. And then the Nighthawks trying to get things rolling as they take on Buffalo on Friday. Now, this is my last night here at Fox Rochester doing Sunday Sports Extra. It's been a great ride. It's been so much fun for the past five and a half years. There's so many people that I have to thank here. First of all, everybody in the control room and out in the studio every night, they've done a solid job for me the last three and a half years that Sunday Sports Extra has been on the air. My partners, Brett Stagnani, who's been with me since August, and my right-hand man, GS Greg Sage, for the last three and a half years. More importantly, you out there. You've made Rochester my home for the last five and a half years. It's been the best time of my life. There's so many people I'd like to thank, the athletes, the coaches, and so many athletic directors that I've become friends with. I appreciate all your support over the past five and a half years. But I'm going to be moving on. and. I'm still going to be part of the Brotherly's Morning Show, which is the number one radio show in Rochester on 96.5 WCMF. It's been so much fun here at Fox Rochester Sports. I also have to thank the management for all their support here as well. That does it for this edition of Sunday Sports Extra. Hope we meet up again someday down the road. All right, everybody, good night. Thanks for tuning in, and so long.